Taylor management definitely impacted my career by uh, like just helping me find the position that I wanted to be in. Like I said, they I applied for a warehouse position, but then they asked me a few questions and they were like, well, you seem like you'd actually more enjoy this instead. And so they helped me guide me through the actual right path for my career to keep moving forward. When COVID first hit, I was uh, jobless and I reached out to my friend who worked here and he put me through Taylor Management. It was a really simple process. They were really on top of things with everything and getting to make sure I got all my documents ready. Can't beat them, you know? Yeah. They vetted us, right? They sought us out when, I don't know, maybe we didn't know how to come here and apply or what we were getting into, right? And I said yes to this with Taylor Management. And here I am, you know? Uh, they sought me out. They seen that I had the skills to be able to multitask, chase multiple squirrels at once, and come in and still provide excellence. New direction, it was scary, but um, honestly, I was complete leap of faith, and I can't believe that they gave me like as much leeway and opportunity as they have, but I really feel like I've come into my own being able to work here and work with people I have. They place us here, they make us feel comfortable, they get us acclimated. Once you make it past all the variables, all the testing, all the comfortable, all the formalities, then you go out there, it's a big, big difference. Right? Our backyard's huge. My role, I'm, I'm a fueler, so aircraft fueler or grounds fueler. Anything that takes fuel, we're responsible. to be in aviation and honestly Taylor Management and Rickenbacker Airport completely took a leap of faith in me and allowed me to make a huge career change and the experience that I'm getting in this job is just incredible. And I was in general aviation beforehand but I had no idea the extensive amount of paperwork and back and forth and just communication that is needed for every single crew to get off and every single plane to come through uh, airport. Seeing people travel, I guess, is what I would like the most. Hearing where they're going, what they're doing, you know, how everyone's different and doing different things, but all going on the same plane. When you look at like language barriers or different cultures, it's not that, they're all people too. They land from Dubai or Korea or uh, I mean, everywhere, all over. And uh, it's cool. Just every day is different, like I come in every day, I get to see planes and stuff from all around the world and meet different people from like all around the world and it's just, it's a whole, it's a new experience every day which is, I enjoy. Um, you really got to have it all out there. Well, working at an airport is like fast paced, you got 45 minutes to make sure all the passengers are on, the baggage is matched up and everything. We really are the middleman that talks between the, the airlines, the airport, and the crew. Um, I really like my coworkers. We are able to get all of our work done, but also have a good time in doing so. I feel like I can always ask them for any of my any help I need or assistance, um, everyone's been really kind and open. Dealing with the weather, right? So coming in, getting acclimated, finding out what's the urgent status, what's incoming, what's outbound. That's a 45 minute to an hour operation. We use 2158, which is a 680 gallon a minute truck. I want to say it has a sense of danger because we have the most flammable stuff on earth beneath us, right? The airport is a, a town within a town. I made it a point when I started here to get to know as many people as I could. So we're all first name basis with the AMTs, the aircraft mechanics, the ramp agents. Yes, that's Evan. He's a Taylor management employee also. Sky's the limit, no pun intended. You know, they, they open you up to opportunities that maybe you didn't see yourself. There'll be more positions opening up 
with Niebuhr already being a lead, it'll have another step into leadership, I guess. That's what I want to do. Um, I would definitely love to stay here and like move up my way up into the aviation world. Aviation has been a big part of my life since I was a kid. Um, I just like flying. Uh, so I, I was initially going to go in the military, but then I didn't go. But now this is the closest thing to it. And so I'm just like, I'm loving it every day and just pushing, pushing my limits every day to try to be the best employee here, you know? Uh, well, my ultimate goal is I still love teaching, so I want to teach people how to fly. That is my ultimate goal. That is where I'm going. So um, I got this job so I can get more contact with the actual pilot, so I learn the whole process um, and really get my foot stepped in the aviation. And I'm actually studying while I'm working here during our downtime. So like when we don't have any planes on the ground, I will be going through handbooks and whatnot and um, just trying to get through my tests. And yeah, they, I would love to teach people how to fly. That's my goal.